Welcome back students to our fifth part of chapter 3 physiography and drainage. Today we are going to cover drainage system of Brazil. So Brazil has three major river systems. The first Amazon River Basin, the Paraná Paraguay system in the southwest, the South Francisco in the eastern parts of Highland and other rivers at the coast. So we'll now study the Amazon River system. The Amazon River originates from the eastern slopes of the Andes Mountains. So this is the Andes Mountains in Peru. So this is the country Peru, which is which lies to the west part of Brazil. It is one of the neighboring countries of Brazil and flows into the Atlantic Ocean through the western part of Brazil. So this is the western part of Brazil. So the Amazon River, it originates from the eastern slopes of Andes Mountain in Peru. It enters the western part of Brazil and then it flows into the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. It flows from west to east and meets the North Atlantic Ocean. So we have already seen this. It flows from west to east and enters the North Atlantic Ocean. It is the world's largest and the second longest rivers. It has got length of almost 6,400 kilometers. So we can imagine how big it can be. It has more than 1,000 tributaries. So these are the tributaries and we have many more such tributaries. It has an average discharge of roughly 2 lakh cubic meters per second. By discharge here we mean the volume of water that passes a given location within a given period of time. So you can imagine in one second 2 lakh cubic meters of water passes through a given location. Then the width of the Amazon at its mouth is almost 150 kilometers. So this is the mouth of the Amazon River. So the width of the Amazon River is almost 150 kilometers. It's as good as traveling to uh, Pune and Mumbai. From Mumbai you go to Pune, it's almost 140, 150 kilometers. Since it is large, it's suitable for navigation. So yes, since it's it's large okay the width is more it is suitable for navigation study why the amazon river does not form deltas okay so here in the adjacent figure we see that the amazon river does not form delta it's formed islands okay we see islands over here so to understand this question we first need to understand how rivers form delta Usually, the rivers to form deltas, the river has to flow with a slow and steady speed so that the silt gets deposited and built up. We've already studied that the discharge of Amazon River is very huge. It is almost 2 lakh cubic meter per second. It's discharge. So, Due to high speed and huge discharge of water, the Amazon River washes off the sediments or the load it carries with it from the catchment. As a result, the sediments are not deposited and deltas are not formed. Again, there is one more reason why the Amazon is not able to form deltas. The tides of the Atlantic Ocean are so large that sometimes it reaches 20 feet and they do not allow the sediments to settle and create a delta on the Amazon. So if you see in this adjacent figure, we can see here the tide of the Amazon River. So here the tide of the Amazon River is almost 10 feet. But then sometimes this height reaches this tide, uh, this tide reaches to a height of 20 feet. So what happens here? It does not allow the sediments to settle and create a delta. Hence, the Amazon River forms many islands along its mouth into the Atlantic beyond the coastline. Okay. 
We now move on to the Paraguay Parana River system. The Paraguay Parana River system is located in the southwestern part of Brazil. So this is the Paraguay Parana River system. So it is located in the south. So this is the southern part of Brazil and this is the western part. So southwestern part of Brazil and these are the neighboring countries of Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay and Argentina. They form a catchment of river Plata in Argentina. So along with the river Uruguay, so this is the river Uruguay, okay, and this is the Parana River which flows uh, from the southwest direction. It joins the Paraguay River which moves directly in the south direction. They both join at this junction and from here they join the Uruguay River and then they form the Plata River Plata catchment in Argentina. So this is Argentina. The rivers Paraguay and Parana along with Uruguay originate from extreme south of the Brazilian highlands. So if you go to see this is the Brazilian highland which is um, shown here in brown and dark brown light brown. So this is the Brazilian highlands. So the Paraguay, Parana and Uruguay rivers, they originate from the southern part of the Brazilian highlands, extreme south part of the Brazilian highlands. We now move on to the South Francisco River. So this is the South Francisco River. Okay. This is the third important river of Brazil. The entire basin of this river is within Brazil itself. So this is the Brazil, um, this is Brazil and the entire basin of São Francisco is, in, is within Brazil itself. It lies to the east of the Brazilian highlands. So this is the Brazilian highland. So it, this is the east, eastern part of Brazil. This is the, uh, to the east we have the Atlantic Ocean. So to the this entire basin lies to the east of the Brazilian highland. So here if we have the Brazilian highland, so this is the eastern part of the Brazilian highland. The river flows towards the north for about 1000 kilometers. So it flows in the north direction for 1000 kilometers over the Brazilian highland plateau or shield, whatever you call it. And then it takes a sharp turn eastward toward the Atlantic Ocean and it enters the Atlantic Ocean when it turns eastwards. The river is navigable for 250 kilometers in its downstream reaches. So here one can navigate in this particular part. On to the last part of Brazil's drainage system, the coastal rivers. There are many short coastal rivers in Brazil. Since the coastal areas are densely populated, the rivers have attained more importance. Now if you go to see, this is the coastline of Brazil and Brazil has a coastline of almost 7,400 kilometers. Now since it's a coastline, this land is very fertile here and since the land is fertile, Agriculture is the main occupation. Again, there are many minerals found in this particular region. Last but not the least, the climate is also very favorable in this region. Hence, this region, the eastern coast, is densely populated. The river Parnaiba and Itkaparu flow northwards and join the North Atlantic Ocean. So this is the river Parnaiba and this is the river Itkaparu which flow in the north direction and they enter into the North Atlantic Ocean. So here we can see the direction of the arrow. It is in the north direction. The escarpment is the source of the rivers which join the South Atlas Atlantic Ocean. So we already know here we have the escarpment. Okay. And it is the source of the rivers. Okay, source of the rivers means the rivers, they originate from the escarpment. Okay, the rivers are born here, you could say. And they join the South Atlantic Ocean. The river Paraguaco enters the Atlantic Ocean near Salvador town. So the river Paraguaco, this is the river Paraguaco. Okay, it 
enters the Atlantic Ocean okay and near the Savador town so here we have the Savador town now let me tell you this is the actual spelling of the river Paragua Co okay but in the textbook in our textbook they have given two spellings Puraguaku and Puskua. So this is the spelling which is given in the map and this is the spelling which is given in the textbook. So in your exam you have to write either this spelling or this spelling. Either or even if you write either or you will get right. Do not write this. This is the actual spelling but do not write this. Write these two spellings. With this, we have come to an end of Chapter 3, Physiography and Drainage. Hope you have understood. Thank you. Stay home and stay safe.